what I'm gonna do is just jump in right here to the Glowforge software, which is app.glowforge.com. That's how you open it up. And then this is the home screen for the app. And these are all of your files. And if you actually hover over a file and click on this arrow, you can see that you can either delete the file, rename it, or make a copy. So I'm just gonna rename that. And then you can just hit enter to save. So now I'm just going to click on this file and show you some tips and tricks when you're actually editing a file. To copy your artwork, what you wanna do is just highlight it and hit Command C and then Command V to paste it. And anytime that I say command, if you're on a PC, just interchange the word command with control. So if you're on a PC, it's gonna be control C and control V. To undo something, so say I copy and paste this and then I just wanna undo that, I'm just gonna hit um, command Z. And to redo something, you just wanna hit command shift Z, or you can click on the redo arrow up at the top here next to the undo arrow. To delete artwork, what you wanna do is highlight it and then just click delete on your keyboard. To resize something, you're just gonna highlight it and then click from one of the corners and then just drag it in. You don't have to hold down shift or anything to keep the proportions right. Actually, if you do hold down shift while you're dragging, it's gonna distort it. And then if you click on this little arrow down here, you can see the actual measurements of your art. So say we just wanna make this smaller, we're just gonna highlight it, click and drag, and then we can see like the width is changing down here. So say you wanna make it seven inches, you can actually just type it down there if you want to or you can do it manually and you can see the measurement changing. To zoom in and out, you're gonna hit Command plus to zoom in and Command minus to zoom out. You can also do that by clicking on the plus and minus up here at the top. And to move around on your artboard, you just wanna hit the space bar and then click and drag around. This is something that I use all the time. If you wanna nudge your artwork, what you do is just highlight it again and then hit the arrow keys on your keyboard so you can move it to the right, to the left, up, and then down. And you can also do that by editing the measurements down here at the bottom of the X and the Y. Like that. So you wanna select everything on your artboard, you're gonna to wanna to hit Command A, and that selects everything. Over here we have all the layers of our artwork, and if you highlight over them, it'll actually highlight on the board so you can see which layer is which. And also when you click on these, this is where you select what you want the Glowforge to do. So you can either engrave, cut, score, or ignore. But when you click on these layers, this is gonna determine the order in which the Glowforge prints. So say I want this to print first, I'm gonna click on that layer and drag it to the top. So that makes it so the Glowforge will cut out this first. And then it's gonna score this oh hello second and then it's gonna cut the circle out last. Glowforge takes a photo of whatever material you have in your Glowforge bed, and sometimes it's a little bit behind. So if you need to refresh that image, you can actually go up here to the three little dots, click on that, and then click on refresh bed image, and then that will take an updated photo of the material that's in your bed. So that's all I have for the artwork for right now. And if you wanna click on the logo in the top left, that actually brings you back to the home screen. Now if you hover over the name of your Glowforge and your email address in the top right corner, You'll see under refer a friend is a link, and this is a link that you're gonna use if anybody wants to use your referral code when they're buying a Glowforge. Um, if you guys actually wanna use my referral code, I'm gonna include it in the description of this video. When you use it, you can get anywhere from $100 to $500 off, depending on which model of the Glowforge you get. And I will actually get paid too, so it's a win-win scenario. That's all I have for tips and tricks. If you guys like this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. I put out other Glowforge and Maker type content. All right, thanks guys. Bye.